And Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq one day heard about an incident that happened between Ammar al-Duhni, one of his companions, and Ibn Abi Layla, the judge of Kufa. Ammar al-Duhni was a scholar. So he was summoned by the court in Kufa. Ibn Abi Layla was the judge. Ammar al-Duhni went to testify. Ibn Abi Layla, this judge, you know, he was kind of anti-Shia. He told him, Ammar, sorry, we're not going to accept your testimony. You are a Rafidi. So I'm not going to accept your testimony. One of the names for the Shia during those times, one of the labels was Rafida. That's what their enemies called them. Ibn Abi Layla saw Ammar when he told him that you're a Rafidi, I'm not going to accept your testimony. Ammar started to shake and he started to cry. Ibn Abi Layla told him, look, look at the way you're crying. Stop being a Rafidi. Come follow our path. We'll accept your testimony. He thought Ammar was hurt. Why did we call him a Rafidi? He felt bad. Why did we call him a Rafidi? Ammar tells him, oh judge, you misunderstood my reaction. This is not why I'm shaking. This is not why I'm crying. You think I'm crying out of weakness because you called me a Rafidi? I'm crying for two reasons. The first reason that I'm crying is because you gave me the label of Rafidi. I don't have the honor of fitting this label. This label is so sacred because my Imam Ja'far ibn Muhammad told me the first Rafidha were the sorcerers at the time of Musa alayhi salam. They rejected Fir'aun. They accepted Allah. Allah forgave them. Do you know what a Rafidi means? Rejecter. I reject batil, falsehood. I reject every sin. I don't have the honor of being a full rejecter of batil. But you now have attributed that to me. I'm crying because I don't deserve this label. That's the first reason why I'm crying. The second reason why I'm crying is because you're a liar by calling me a Rafidah. I'm nowhere near reaching that state and you're claiming that I have reached that state. So you just added a sin to your sins by making a false claim over here. You think I have the honor of becoming a Rafidah? Someone who rejects all falsehood? I'm far from that. That's why I'm crying. And Imam al-Sadiq was informed about this incident. The Imam salam said, if Ammar's sins are bigger than the universe, Allah has forgiven them because of the statement that he has made. Because of this truthful statement that he has made. The Imams of Ahlul Bayt would not take this label lightly. Another day, Imam Musa al-Kadhim salam he saw a man in the bazaar, a vendor selling something. And you know what he was saying? Oh people, I'm a Shia. I'm a Shia of Al Muhammad. Please come buy this from me for the most price. Who's willing to pay the most for my product? The Imam salam came and he said, shame on you. Shame on you. You're using this label to make more money over here? And you're cheating the people and you're defrauding the people? Oh man, do you know who our Shias are? Our Shias are you know the, who the Shia, the real Shia are? The Shias are Hassan and Hussein. They're the Shia of Ali. Al-Miqdad, Ammar, Salman, they are the Shias of Ali. When you reach their status, then you can call yourself a Shia.